All right, hey collective, I'm back on here to come give you guys a general spread for today. Remember the spread that I'm pulling for you guys is timeless, it's also general, so I need for you guys to only accept the message if it's for you. If it's not, leave it for the next person. Also, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. If you haven't already, come join me so we can grow the energy over here for you guys, all right? So we're gonna tap into this here energy, and I also need for you guys to please tap into your intuition and only receive the message if it's for you, all right? So the first card of flaw for you guys is we have look, you passed. We have the generational curse breaker. And look here, we have the speak up card. So I definitely feel like a lot of you guys, you definitely passed some form of test. I feel like a lot of you guys were definitely going through some form of lesson to where I feel like a lot of you guys, something about you speaking up, okay? Speaking your authentic truth and being your authentic self, okay? For a lot of you guys. Um, I feel like a lot of you guys, by you speaking up, speaking your truth, broke some form of generational curse from your bloodline, okay? We have the divine masculine or feminine. So you can definitely be a divine masculine masculine or a feminine right now that definitely has passed some form of test around speaking your truth okay all right it's all about you being your authentic self and speaking your authentic truth okay for a lot of you guys we have one 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 on the clock for a lot of you guys it definitely brought in some form of karmic justice for you all right we have the reclaiming your power so i feel like a lot of you divine feminists and masculines you are definitely receiving karmic justice and it's something about you guys reclaiming your power right now okay by you speaking your truth allowed you to gain your power back okay for a lot of you guys you're reclaiming your power from a karmic family that has been trying to put you guys through spiritual warfare okay we have the month of march out here so for a lot of you divine masters or feminine i feel like a lot of you definitely could have been could be going through some type of warfare you could have a karmic family this month that's trying to put you through warfare or try to all right for a lot of you guys but something about you speaking your truth have allowed you to regain back power from this karmic family because whatever it is that they were doing um i feel like this karmic family felt like they had some form of power over you okay uh, we have the mirror in each other so i feel like a lot of you guys we have the divine counterpart a lot of you divine feminists and masculines you guys are mirroring your counterparts right now it's something about you guys standing up to your karmic family okay and not allow them to overpower you or feel like they have some form of power over you so something about you guys speaking up and standing up for yourself all right definitely allowed you guys to reclaim your power back we have the ascendant a lot of you guys are definitely going through some type of ascension okay a lot of you guys are elevating okay for a lot of you guys um just because a lot of you guys you you spoke your truth okay all right to whoever this karmic family is all right we have the breakthrough card so i feel like for a lot of you guys it's some form of breakthrough coming in we have is destined to be and look here we have the creating blockages so whoever this karmic family was for a lot of you guys that was putting you through this warfare i feel like they have been trying to block your destiny okay for a lot of you guys something that was meant for you something that was part of your birthright okay so they have been trying to block your destiny from you okay but a lot of you guys you're receiving some form of breakthrough okay we have the successful card so for a lot of you divine masculine masculines and feminists this could has a lot to do with your success or you just being in this successful mindset that this family has been trying to block okay a lot of you guys are destined to be successful okay like i said that is part of your birthright we have three 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 on the clock you have a karmic family that has been trying to block this, all right? We have the plotted against you card to flow out here. And look here, we have the past life. So for a lot of you divine masculines and feminines, I feel like for a lot of you guys in a past life, you dealt with karmic family that has been trying to block you. You dealt with a karmic family that has been trying to cause obstacles, okay? For a lot of you guys with some form of success or you being in this, this successful energy, all right? So a lot of you guys, you dealt with this in a past life around karmic family plotting against you trying to um block your destinies i'm also here for a lot of you guys swap destinies okay but we have look we have the spiritual team 444 your spiritual team is protecting you this lifetime for a lot of you divine masters and feminine you are receiving this karmic justice okay for a lot of you guys a lot of you guys are coming into alignment to something we have the opportunities don't happen you create them so for a lot of you guys you're coming into alignment to some form of opportunity that you have created for yourself okay um for a lot of you guys by you speaking up open up some form of door some form of opportunity for you okay for a lot of you guys we have the hold the vision and trust the process okay so something about you guys keep your vision okay keep holding your vision and trust whatever's going on right now because you have a karmic family right now that's upset because we have the bloodstone crystal which is draws off negative energy and look at this next card they're giving you the evil eye 
okay? So you guys got a karmic family right now that's definitely upset right now because they couldn't block something for you, okay? This lifetime. They could be giving you the, some form of um, evil eye right now. So make sure you guys are working with your blood stone, okay? This is going to draw off any negative energies, all right? We have the balance restored and flew out here twice. This is why they're upset. This is why they're giving you some form of evil eye. Because something is balancing out for you. Or some form of balance is being restored. Because they have definitely been trying to leave something in balance with you. With this karmic, um, with this uh, spiritual warfare. Okay. But, uh, but for a lot of you guys around you speaking your truth. Definitely intervene on this karmic family. Okay. Alright. So some additional messages that I got up here for you guys. Is we have... We have the black sheep card. So a lot of you guys, uh, divine feminists or masses, you are definitely the black sheep of the family, okay? Um, five, five, five was on the clock. Something's changing. Some of you are definitely, like I said, the black sheep. We have the money spells out here. So for a lot of you guys, this could have been a uh, karmic family doing money spells on you. This is how they were trying to um, get you out of that successful energy or block some form of success. Okay, they could have been trying to, um, for a lot of you guys, block some form of opportunity, whatever it is. Okay, for a lot of you guys, um, we have the birth records card that flew out here. So, for a lot of you guys, there's something significant about birth records. And, like I said, I was picking up something that's that's your birthright. Okay, for a lot of you guys, it was already written for you to be in this successful energy. Okay, um, for a lot of you guys, so something about birth records, and then we have this next card here. Okay. And I said, I'm not doubting it. We have the insurance fraud. So I don't know if you had a karmic family that has been trying to do some type of insurance fraud. All right. For a lot of you guys, this is why they're upset also. All right. For a lot of you guys, um, that could resonate with some of you. All right. Um, but whatever it is that this karmic family have been doing is over with. Okay. For a lot of you guys. And like I said, it's all about you guys speaking your truth. Okay. So we'll get some clarifying messages here. Okay. definitely ended out something with this karmic family okay and they're very upset about it okay because whatever it is that they were doing they were hoping that they can block out something that's destined for you all right and like i said i was picking up a lot of you guys something about swapping destinies here okay that's what i'm getting for some of you guys all right can you give me a clarifying message i keep seeing the remembrance card Okay, something about you guys speaking up and remembering who you are. That's what I'm picking up for a lot of you guys. It's, it keeps showing. So um, this is the remembrance card, okay? I keep seeing it. It keeps flipping over. So for a lot of you guys, there's something about you awakening to who you are, okay? Something about you definitely remembering, all right, for a lot of you guys. Definitely snatch this power back from this karmic family. Uh, for a lot of you guys, something about you guys waking up to, to, to the truth of who you are, okay? For a lot of you guys. Okay, so whatever these illusions was, um, whatever whatever it is that they've been trying to do, it's not working, okay? A lot of you guys are definitely awakening right now. We have the nourish curve, okay? So make sure you guys are um, definitely... What I'm getting from this nourish, because we did have that they're giving you the evil eye. Um, make sure you guys are cleansing your energy. Make sure you guys are um, um, keeping up with your spiritual cleansings, okay? All right. Oof. Okay. We have the focus. So something about you guys, like I said, keep your vision, all right? Hold your vision around whatever it is that you're doing. Stay focused, okay? Because for a lot of you guys, these people are projecting some type of energy, all right? Make sure you guys are staying focused, all right? The authentic truth, I told y'all, okay? You speaking your authentic truth right now has called back this power from this family, okay? All right, for a lot of you guys, you speaking up, all right? You remembering who you are and speaking up. All right, this is what this is what this karmic family is mad about. Make sure you guys are protecting yourself. Okay, make sure you guys are cleansing and staying focused. All right, for a lot of you guys. All right, keep your vision. Okay, because I feel like there's something about these people want you to lose focus on something. Okay. Yeah. 
Anyone want to say anything? Any messages here? enlightenment card that flew over here so like i said for a lot of you guys it's something about you guys are enlightened about something or you have been enlightened about something and you spoke your truth okay also you're being enlightened about who you are okay for a lot of you guys all right so we're going to pull out some um more clarifying cards here A lot of you guys, you definitely um, spoke some form of truth, okay? Allowed you to regain your power. Continue being your authentic self, okay? And continue speaking your truth, all right? So we have a new opening, okay? For a lot of you guys. So it's some, it's some form, it's something coming in for you. It says, when one door closes, I am confident another will open, and it will be for my betterment. I accept that life brings challenges and acknowledge the opportunity and learning they present me, all right? So for a lot of you guys, it's some form, something new is opening up for you, okay? For a lot of you guys, all right? This could be anything. It could be a new, a new opportunity. Anything. Something new is opening up, okay? We have the creation card that flew over here, okay? So like I said, it's something about you guys um, creating some form of opportunity for yourself, okay? This could be with you guys' is creativity, okay? But something definitely is opening up. All right, what's this creation? We have the transformation, okay? So for a lot of you guys, you definitely went through some type of transformation or you're going through this right now. Okay, for a lot of you guys. What's this transformation? Look, we have me. Okay, you're being your authentic self. This is what that transformation was for a lot of you guys. All right. It says, the love that I have for myself invites harmony to settle with, within my being. I listen to honor and strive to fulfill the needs of my soul. Okay. Let me get one more. Oof. Any more clarity? Also, something about you guys releasing some form of negativity. All right, a lot of you guys like you being in a more positive energy. Also, okay. Look, we have the acceptance, okay? Like I said, it's something about you guys being your authentic self, okay? Acceptance. It was a main thing. And you guys speaking up and speaking your authentic truth, okay? It says, I accept every step that life presents me without resistance. I try to find out what the universe is trying to teach me so that I can grow. Thus, I can advance in freedom on the path of light, okay? Okay? So, like, for a lot of you guys, like I said, you are definitely um, ascending. You are growing in some form of way, okay? All right, let's see if we can get y'all out any more here. All right. Oh. Okay. Look, we have the remember and awakening again, okay? We have the spring, all right? Um, for a lot of you guys, March... I feel like March, I think March starts spring. I don't know what when the first day of spring, but it is in March, okay, for a lot of you guys. But like I said, it's like you guys went through awakening. Something about you remembering. That's two remembrance card, okay, for a lot of you guys. All right? Let's see what else we get out here. Look, we have the empowerment, sun, strength, all right? So it's like you gained, you reclaimed your power, from whatever this was, okay? Your strength, all right? You you gain that empowerment back by speaking up, okay? What's this empowerment? I can't make it up, y'all, because the truth, you expressing your truth, okay? You expressing your truth. 
allowed you to regain some form of empowerment or, or have you in this energy, okay? A lot of you guys, this family has been doing things to have you hold back from speaking your truth, okay? We have a uh, water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces out here that could be significant. out yesterday so for a lot of you guys it's a form of balance okay it's balance being restored okay for a lot of you guys karmic justice is coming in all right um for a lot of you guys all right okay let's see what we got here and this always comes out from my divine masculine and feminine so a lot of you guys, a union is forming, okay? Because a lot of you guys, like I said, you guys are mirroring one another, okay? It's something about you guys um, have to stand up or speak up or speak your truth to karmic family. For a lot of you guys, all right? So a union could be forming, all right? We have the isolating thoughts, okay? It's something about you guys also for my divine feminines. I feel like a lot of your masculines could be going through this. I feel like what I'm picking up more as if um, some of you guys, your masculines are standing up to their family, okay? It could be divine feminine, um, but I'm pushing more towards like the masculine, okay? Something about the masculine standing up to family, okay? All right. That's what I feel like um, when I've seen that um, isolating thoughts. I feel like this could be your masculine in that energy for my divine feminists, okay? All right, let's see. That might be it. So that might be it for you guys. We're going to pull out some extra zodiac signs, okay? Yeah, for a lot of you guys, it's something about you guys tapping into who you are. We have Aries. We have Leo that flew over here. We have Aries again. So you could definitely be an Aries, all right? We have Leo, heavy fire sign up here, all right? That's Leo and Aries twice. Some of you guys could definitely be an Aries uh, or a Leo, um, divine masculine or feminine all right we have water cancer scorpio pisces now these could be signs of family all right take it how it resonates we have earth towards virgo capricorn all right let's see if we get one more out here Woo. we have libra and we have air okay we're gonna get one more We have air again, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, okay? So um, these signs could be significant, all right? They could be yours. They could be signs of your masculine. They could be signs of karmic family. Take them how they resonate, okay? All right? Um, but something definitely is, like I said, over with, okay? Um, for a lot of you guys. And it's all about you speaking up and standing up for yourself, okay? For a lot of you guys. Remembering who you are, Okay? I feel like for a lot of you guys, you broke some form of generational curse by speaking up your truth, all right? So that's what I have for you, Collective. Make sure you guys like and subscribe to my channel. I will speak with you guys in a minute, and I love y'all so much. Bye.